Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again to serve up another He-Man Origins video, and this time, I, I finally got lucky at the store. Been looking for the rest of Wave 9, finally came across He-Man and Skeletor, but then happened upon the Target Exclusive 3-pack as well. Now, with the rest of Wave 9, if you're interested, I've already taken a look at Pighead and Mantena. Kind of did that a while ago. These ones have been very elusive. Now, they started hitting Target store shelves probably, what, two months ago? Something like that. And subsequently have been in and out. Walmart got the deluxe of Wave 9, specifically Snout, Spout, and Leech. Look at the artwork on that right there. That's pretty cool. And you can see everything on the back. Sorry, supposed to be talking about the packaging and all that, but I'm telling a tale as well. Here's the barcode for Skeletor, this particular Skeletor, if you are interested. And then, of course, He-Man, which, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I wasn't really too stoked on these two versions of He-Man and Skeletor. I know a lot of people say, oh, watch the, the 2000X, 200X, whatever you call it. It's all right. I, I gave it a go. You know, I think He-Man just is really cool as action figures. I don't know. A lot of the representation. Like, I liked... I like For the most part, I liked that Netflix show that came out. But that was, like, my first foray into He-Man. And I was like, oh, well, I mean, this is, this is interesting, at least. So, anyways, yeah. He-Man, Skeletor, you get it. Wave 9. And then you have the new Target-exclusive Sun-Man and the Rulers of the Sun 3-pack. And... This is one of those three packs where we're, we're going to get into it. You know, we're going to talk about all the figures. But regardless, it's cool to see Sun Man as part of the He-Man franchise. I know a lot of people are like, yeah. And if you are one of those people and for all the wrong reasons, it, it just click off now. Because I don't want you around here. It's, it's weird. Don't make it weird for the rest of us. Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun. I wouldn't mind a little bag of dinosaurs, a little bag of demons, right? Been saying that for a while, and then on the back side, it's kind of stark, right? <laughs> now, you do get one write-up right here. Sun Man and Space Sumo protect the first sun against the showdown-dwelling Wicked One, Pighead. Whatever that means, I don't know. <laughs> really sweet artwork, though. That's one of the best aspects of the Masters Universe packaging. It's always the artwork, and I like all the hand-drawn illustrations right here of how to use the weapons and whatnot. And, of course, if you're out of targets, here's the barcode so you can scan in store. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the rest of Wave 9, Skeletor and He-Man. And then, of course, the new Target-exclusive 3-pack featuring Pighead, Sun Man, and Space Sumo by Mattel. And, of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging for Skeletor and He-Man. And, like I said, I wasn't really too stoked on these, but having them in hand, especially the Skeletor and kind of the He-Man, not going to lie, uh, they're like souped-up movie versions, and I like the armor and the paint that they got going on. They're actually pretty cool figures. I give it to them. I like the sword right here. That's, to me, you know, it's like... It's like they MCU'd it. You know what I mean? Like, too much going on, but at the same time, it looks ultra super powerful. You got a little bit of a different deco on the Havoc staff right there. And then Skeletor with the head sculpt. Totally dig that. I like that different kind of look with a hoodie thing going on. He's got all the armor. Nice paint details for what's there. We all know what He-Man and the Master of the Universe do at this point. I like the simplicity of this line. Just going to say. He-Man, same deal, but I like the head portrait on this, minus the ears. It's like the ears were an afterthought, you know? They're like, oh, yeah, we should give this guy ears. They're weird. They're weird ears. You got weird ears, He-Man. He's got a really cool axe right here. Again, overly designed, like the cartoon. Right, I get it. That old cartoon, I know. But it, it, it's cool. I dig it. Not for the cartoon, but for this sweet action figure with the gold paint and the red and everything else. It's pretty cool. One thing I will say over and over, Mattel, the shields are too small, and I don't like the way they hook onto the arm because it ruins the figure. It's too tight. It clamps on. It ruins the plastic. That's a major problem that I think they should fix with the He-Man. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the line, right? It's the shield. Shield technology needs to improve. I like the sword. Overly detailed. I didn't go for that four-pack. I'm not going to go for that four-pack. I did want the new Adventures of He-Man figure. This one does the trick. I don't need back metal weapons and all that. He's even got a little pouch on his butt right there. Look, check that out. That's a weird placement for a pouch, just going to say. But, again, uh, it's nice to see 
all of Wave 9 finally complete. And what a wave, right? Look at all the, the characters. See, that's the difference with that four-pack. It's all He-Man. And I was like, yeah, I got enough He-Mans, right? And it's not enough to, to get me to go out and buy that, especially for that price. However, if you would have thrown a villain or two in there, one that they haven't made, might have changed my mind. But as of right now, it's a cool set for collectors and stuff. But I would take that out of the packaging anyways and wouldn't really want to keep the packaging. So it's kind of a waste in that sense. But man, oh man, I'll tell you, uh, looking at Wave 9 in its completeness, right? Leech... Man, Tana, man, two of my favorite new figures into this. Snout Spat, he's, he's a weirdo. But, uh, yeah, pretty solid lineup for Wave 9. I got to give it to him all day. And then, of course, well, let's talk about the three-pack. The three-pack, it's, okay, it's pricey, but it's less than three figures would be. You know what I mean? It clocks in about the $50 mark plus tax and all that kind of stuff. Except, basically have two figures you've already gotten. One figure you've already gotten three times now. And then one new figure being Space Sumo. Is there a lot here to justify that price? Well, if you've missed Pighead and Sunman, the other versions, then sure, why not? If you're just going for Sumo, like me, <laughs> I was like, oh, there's really not a lot here. That, uh, you know what I mean? It's more like, oh man, the new He-Man Origins. And then when you kind of open it up, you're like... Yeah, I mean it's 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 okay. Anyways, let's talk about it. So you get you get these artwork banners, and they're like coasters. I'm not gonna lie, I mean there's really not much to them. The artwork's fantastic. I'm glad that they included them. You even got a little write up right here. Kind of looks like a tarot card too, right? In a way. But I would have loved a stand to put these on to situate behind the character. Because other than that, it is it's an action figure coaster. I appreciate it. But this is the type of stuff where I go, I, I, I don't need this. This, it's, it's a fun pack-in. <laughs> I would take, sooner take extra weapons or a He-Man decoder ring at this point than, than these things, right? This is like paper. So, yeah, it doesn't really do it for me. But Space Sumo, which, yeah, pretty much why I got this set, is cool. <laughs> There's no justifying He-Man at this point. I mean, it's all reused. He even got stars on his boots. But, I mean, like, I mean, it's weird. Why? I don't know. You take the mask off. He's got he's got a Johnny Unitas haircut right there, right? Just <laughs> That's a haircut you can set your watch to, right? <laughs> he's got a nice flat top right there. It's, it's fine for what it is. And it, it, there's not a lot going on with this character. He's got the rubber mask. It situates back on his face. It's interesting. Uh, actually, I do appreciate the card for telling me where, who, and when this guy is. He's got weapon storage on the back. It's a reused weapon. It, uh, hear me now. It's like, yeah, it's cool. It's a new character, and I, I appreciate that, right? Does all the things of the He-Man stuff, pop them off, switch arms, bodies, all that kind of stuff. But it's just kind of like, all right. Pighead, I have, as you just saw, the other Wave 9 release of Pighead. It's a cool character. I, I like the way that Pighead looks. The difference is the paint. The shield, eh, could have a little bit more crisp on the paint, just saying on the shield. Got the same weapon, right? Ball, chain, mace, axe, whatever you want to call it. And it, it looks good. He's a good-looking figure if, if you've missed him the first go-around. But I'm telling you right now, it's just the paint that is different, and it's just a very metallic silvery purple paint you know what i mean as compared to the last one there are some different details like in the face where they've just given him bigger pupils right but again from the boots to the gauntlets the little horns on top of his helmet everything else it, it's it's just paint that's all it is so if you need that variance which <laughs> i'm gonna say i got it for sumo that's all i got but one of them can go with my legend of zelda setup now which is pretty cool and now, Sun Man. So, Sun Man, this is technically the third release. You had Mattel Creations, you had a prior wave release, and now you got the old flat top Sun Man. And again, much like Pighead, other than the head portrait, it's the exact same Sun Man. But I'll show you is that you know, the colors are great. He pops. Welcome edition if you don't have a Sun Man. But the prior release Sun Man that I have. It's different enough to be like, yeah, that's, I mean, to me, that's two different sun men, right? Maybe like father, son, something like that. Different iterations, different generations of sun men. So in that sense, it's cool. 
but it really is just a head portrait. You know what I mean? One that maybe could have been included in the original Sun Man, just saying. Whereas Mattel Creations, it's a different head portrait saying uh, metallic paint, right? And just to kind of see Pighead with all the weapons, original release, and then this new three-pack release. It's it's just a matter of paint and what you like, what you don't like. Are you a completionist, right? It was on the shelf. I, I have no regrets, but I'm going to tell you that it, it probably might be a, a clearance-type item, especially just for going for Sumo. And again, in talking about the price tag for that He-Man 4-pack, you know, this He-Man does the trick for me. You see, I, I mean, I have probably, what, five or six other He-Mans now, different costumes, everything else. Skeletors, can't say I need another Skeletor, but I do like this He-Man and the Skeletor, and it was fun to hunt down. That's another part of collecting that I really enjoy. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the rest of Wave 9 for the He-Man Origins and the new Target exclusive three-pack Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Origins. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep bringing on the He-Man Origins. And I'll tell you, at the end of the year, depending on what gets released and whatnot, I will pull out every single He-Man Origins figure that I got this year and prior years, and we'll do a big video. Because I really do enjoy collecting this. It's fun. It's a fun, vibrant collector line. I just don't want to go too crazy and too expensive. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.